Hey, what's up you guys? It's Judy here with My Life as Geek Eye on this channel. I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And if you're returning here to my channel, then welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial using the Dream Street palette here, made by Kathleen Lights in collaboration with ColourPop. I know this one has been out for a little while now, but I bought it and never even used it on my channel, and I thought, why the hell not use it if I've got it? So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I don't know yet what look that I'm gonna come up with, but I decided that I hate wearing green on my eyes, so that's what I'm going to be doing today to get myself out of my comfort zone and try something new and different. So yeah, if you wanna see what makeup look that I come up with using this eyeshadow palette, I'm also going to strive to use every single shade in this palette. We'll see how I go. If you wanna see that, then just keep on watching. Before I go any further, if you guys do enjoy this video, then please at any point throughout watching it, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already if you have it and you keep coming back then why the hell not you're already here so you may as well subscribe I do put new videos out three times a week every Monday Wednesday and Friday so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads you can also follow me on my social media Facebook Instagram and Twitter all of them are life is geek guy and yeah let's do this First, I'm gonna get my hair out of my face because I ain't trying to get makeup in my freshly washed hair. So, let's do that first, shall we? I'm gonna scoot you guys in a bit closer. You can see exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, I know. I got that because I'm human and I'm not flawless. Contrary to public opinion. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna prime my eyelids first and foremost with the L'Oreal 24 Hour Concealer Pomade. Little bit goes a very, very long way. I know it's very light for me, but I do want to try and incorporate some of the brighter shadows in this palette on my eye look as the standout shade. Like I said, I'm going to try and use every single shade in this palette. So I'm going to use a lighter concealer as a base for my eyes. I'm going to set that down using the shade Magical. Now I know under brow highlight is generally one of the last steps, but there ain't no rules in this up in this hood, so <laughs> I'm gonna take some of this shade Mooney and use that as an under brow highlight. That's pretty. Now taking a fluffy blending brush, I'm gonna go into the shade potion and apply that liberally in my crease. She's pigmented. I think I want to create a bit of a halo eye using that dark green shade Water Bear. So I'm going to be taking that on a small, more precision tipped blending brush. And I'm going to start applying it on the outer and the inner corners of my eyes and not letting it blend up a lot further than my transition. Oh, she's pigmented! I'm shooketh. For a matte shade, that is incredibly pigmented. I'm impressed. Okay, that green is intense! Alrighty, I'm going to be taking another fluffy blending brush and picking up that shade Spark and very lightly dusting this on the outer arch of that dark green shade. Bit of concealer on this tiny little precision brush and I'm not really gonna cut my crease I just want to lay down a bit of a base for the shimmery shadow that I'm going to be applying on the center of my eyelid now in the center of my lid I'm gonna pack on this shimmery green shade called mermaid boy I'm 
Taking that small brush again, I'm going to redefine that deep shade called Water Bear in the inner and outer corners of my eyes. In the center of my lid, I'm going to go in with this shade Kaleidoscope. I'm again going to redefine that shade Water Bear. And then, I think on the absolute center of my lid, I want to go in with that shade Twinkle and just that shade Twinkle and just see what that looks like. I think I may have just ruined my look, but I'm going to go with it. Actually, I kind of like that. It's very subtle, but it's definitely there. Okay, I want to redefine more of that shade Spark on above the everything else that's going on here. Okay, I want to lightly deepen up the outer corners of my eyes. So I'm going to take this shade Elfish and just deepen up on the absolute outer corners of my eyes here. may have been a bad idea but I'm just gonna roll with it taking a bit more of that shade water bear and redefining further I actually hope that this does turn out nice because I have another few videos that I want to film after this and I want to kind of have nice makeup for them so yeah. I'm gonna clean up all that fallout under the eyes For primer, I'm going to be using the Mecca Cosmetica Smoothing Primer because I ain't got no other. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Revlon Candid Photography Foundation. I've never actually used this one before, so this one's a little bit of a first impressions. Just a try on, I just bought it, so. We'll see how it goes. Actually, I think I might have a shade a bit too dark for me. Yeah. It's too dark for me. Why? <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? That's like way too dark for me. So I won't be using that one. I may just have to use that foundation as a contour instead. All right. All right. All right. What am I going to do now for foundation? I'm just going to go in with my usual L'Oreal Infallible. I was so excited to try that foundation out too, damn it. You know what, I think I might still use that foundation but use it as a contour shade instead. So. There's probably better ways to apply this, but I'm already finger deep in it, so. <laughs> I don't know why in my right mind I thought that this would be my shade. Maybe I'm not in my right mind. And I'm just gonna blend that in. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. all of that 
down with some loose translucent powder. For a bronzer slash blush, I'm going to be taking this brownish shade in the Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette. And I want to blush on my cheeks too a little bit, so I'm going to take some of that pink shade in the palette and do that. I want to take a bit of gold in my waterline, so I'm going to take this ColourPop Cream Gel Eyeliner in the shade Dirty Talk and apply this in my waterline. Now I'm going to take that shade Water Bear and apply this on my lower lash line, but not take it all the way to the inner corner of my eye. Beneath that, I'm going to blend out the shade Elfish. And beneath that, I'm going to blend out the shade Potion. And beneath all of that with the fluffier blending brush, I'm going to blend out that shade Spark. redefine my underbrow highlight and while I'm at it I'm gonna use that as a bit of an inner corner highlight as well I'm just taking some of that shade sweet dreams and patting that on the center of my eyelid which you probably won't see anyway unless my eyes are closed just taking my finger back into that shade Mermaid Boy and redefining that on the halo. Alright, I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've done eyeliner and a very, very generous coating of mascara. I used the Essence All Eyes On Me Mascara, and for eyeliner, I used the Maybelline Master Graphic Eyeliner. I guess I'll just finish off the face then. I'm wanting a bit of a rose goldy sort of highlight, so I have the perfect one. This one is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in the shade Molten Rose Gold. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set my face down with some setting spray. And while my face is still damp, I'm going to pick up some of that highlighter and apply that to the high points of my face. Okay, I just realized that I haven't quite used every single shade in this palette. So I'm going to take some of this shade called Shooting Star and use this to contour my nose. Okay, that is an intense nose contour, so I'm just going to blend that out. I'm going to use my finger to highlight my nose. You know, I just realized this looks very, very similar to my Becky G Salvaje collection eye look. For lips, I'm going to line my lips with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Dukes. And speaking of Becky G, I'm going to fill my lips in with the Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Chola from the Becky G collection.
this is the look that I came up with using this eyeshadow palette. I do think I used every single shade in the palette. I think, I'm pretty sure I did. Yes, I think I did. I really enjoyed using this palette. The matte shades are beautiful, blendable. I mean, ColourPop shadows are to die for. You cannot go wrong with them. I'm really surprised actually that the matte shades blended out so freaking beautifully, but they really did. I know matte shades are a little bit harder to formulate in the way that they don't blend out as nice, but these shadows blended out really nicely. No patchiness, no skipping over the skin. It just blended out really, really nicely. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then you know what to do. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave. If you haven't already, subscribe if you want to. And if you don't want to, then that's just super f***ing hurtful. <laughs> I'm kidding. But not really. But low-key I am. But maybe not. Subscribe. I also put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you can turn on that notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are Life is Geek Guy. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I really, truly appreciate that you have chosen to spend your time here with me today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! I'm going to set that down using the shade. Apply the shade. Should I go kaleidoscope or sweet dreams? Ooh, or twinkle. Decisions, decisions. This one is the Maybelline Master Chrome con not Concealer. What's wrong with my lighting? I don't like my lighting in this video.